because they relate to Lord Krishna and so are of relevance to the world's welfare. Only questions of this sort are capable of completely satisfying the self. Hmm. So, there was a great beating just like we are holding, we are meeting for a few days. A similar meeting was held uh, thousands of years ago, <coughs> at least four thousand years ago, in a place which is called Naimisharan. The Naimisharan now is in India. It is near Lucknow. Here is Professor Srivastava. He knows. The station is called now Nimsha. I think it is in Hardoi district. Hmm. So still the place is there. And if you sometimes go to India, you can visit this place. It is a very nice place for spiritual atmosphere. So formerly all the great sages used to assemble in that Taimisharana. It is said that all the demigods used to visit that place. So in that great meeting Bhagavat was discussed. The Srimad Bhagavatam was first discussed before Maharaj Parikhit, King Parikhit, the emperor of this planet. Uh, he was cursed by a Brahmin to die within seven days. He was very wrongly cursed. But still Parikhrit Maharaj tolerated. He could counteract such curse, but he did not do it. He took this opportunity of retiring from active life and prepared for death. <clears throat> so he had only seven days to die. And because he was king, all the great sages and kings and all parts of the world, they came to see him. And the problem was what to do at the time of death. So many people suggested many things, not ordinary people, many great sages, Brahmins, Maharaj, you do this, you do that. Later on it was suggested on arrival of Sukhdev Goswami in that meeting. So all the sages decided that Sukhdev Goswami has recently learned from his father Vyasadeva about Srimad Bhagavatam. Srimad Bhagavatam is the last contribution of Vyasadeva. Vyasadeva is the original compiler of all Vedic literature. So he wrote so many books, uh, all the Vedas, four Vedas, 108 Upanishads, 18 Puranas, Mahabharata, Ramayana was uh, compiled before by Balmiki. And in Mahabharata there are 100,000 verses. And similarly, all these books, hundreds and thousands of verses. And the Srimad Bhagavatam contains 18,000 verses. So in this way, Vyasadeva compiled all these books 
for uh, benefit of the people in this age of Kali. Unfortunately, people are not interested in these literatures. What to speak of other people, even our Indians are not interested. They are making research work, but what is already there, by mature research work of Vaisdev, they are not interested. That is the misfortune of India. So, Vaisdev uh, uh, summarized all the Vedic literature in the Vedanta Sutra. Veda means knowledge. Anta means end. Uh, there is everything, there is some summit or the ultimate goal. So about education, knowledge, the ultimate goal is Vedanta. Veda means knowledge, Anta means ultimate. If you know Vedanta, then you have known everything. Just mean vijñāti sarvametam vijñātam bhavanti. We still after compiling Vedanta Sutra philosophy, Vaisdev was not satisfied. He was feeling some vacancy. You are sorry. So his spiritual master, Narada, appeared before his disciple was there. So Narada couldn't understand that Vaisde was not happy even after compiling so many big, big volumes of literature, Vedic literature. So he questioned. Parasar, Vaisdev's father was Parasar Muni. So he addressed him Parasar. Yeah. Why you are unhappy? You have studied everything. You have undergone all kinds of penances. You have performed all Vedic rituals. You have written so many books. Why you are unhappy? He answered, my dear Lord, I, what do you say? It is all right that I am not happy. But you can find out the cause, because you know everyone's heart, you can find out the cause. So Narad Mani replied that, oh, these things will be discussed in the Srimad Bhagavatam, that you have considered so many things, but if you have not written anything absolutely for the Supreme Personality of God, without discussing about the Supreme Personality of Godhead, you cannot be happy. That is the fact. At the present moment also, there is advancement of education, many universities, many technological institutes, uh, economic development in your America, there is everything sufficient. But still, people are unhappy. Uh, they are becoming hippies. Why? Because there is no knowledge about God. This is the only God. Uh, this is the only cause. Every one of us is part and parcel of God. So our real hankering is God. Just like child 
baby is the part and parcel of the mother. And when the child is unhappy, nothing can satisfy the child except when he is put on the lap of his mother. He is crying. Everybody is trying to pacify him. But the child is going on crying, crying. But as soon as you put him on the lap of his mother and the mother takes on his breast, the child is immediately happy. Similarly, we are all children of God. We are making so many plans to become happy independently without God. That is not possible. That is not possible. Therefore, there is great necessity uh, of understanding God at the present moment. Therefore, this Krishna consciousness moment is started. Uh, so, everything is there. Fortunately, in India we have got everything, but our modern leaders, they are neglecting their own thing. They are begging technology from other countries. That is their misfortune. But actually, just like I am single-handed, trying to present the original Vedic culture, people are accepting all over the world, very happy. India should have tried. The government should have known this. Unfortunately, uh, they are all bereft of this knowledge, their own culture. Uh, there is a Bengali verse written by one poet. Apana dhan bilaye diye bhikha mage parere kache. They have lost their own culture. Now they are begging from other countries. Anyway, this culture, this Bhagavad culture, is not for any particular country or particular nation. It is meant for everyone. God is not monopolized by anyone. God is for everyone. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Sarva Jyonishu Kaunti Asambhamanti Murta Yoja. Sarva Jyoni. All kinds of species of living entities, all forms, not only human beings, but aquatics, trees, plants, insects, reptiles, birds, beasts, animals. There are eight million four hundred thousand species of life in the land, in the sky, in the water, all of them are sons of God. This is universal, brother. When we can think uh, all living entities, because the central point is missing. Central point is God. But we are making central point. Somebody is making his own self, his body, Somebody is making his family, somebody is making his society, community, or nation, or somebody is making the whole human race. But they are all imperfect. Uh, unless we can make all the living entities uh, are our own men. Pandita samadharusina. That is learning. That is knowledge. 
Pandita Samadarshina in the Bhagavad Gita it is said. Vidya Vinaya Sampani Brahmani Gavi Hastini Sunichi Cha Sapaki Cha Pandita Samadarshina. According to the Vedic culture, a learned Brahmin, very gentle, sober, learned Brahmin, whoever is learned, he must be gentle and sober. Vidya Dadati Namrata. That is the test of education. Uh, demonic life is not education. Uh, a learned man means he must be Samadarshina. Uh, there are different types of living entities, and the learned Brahmin is considered to be the topmost. Vidyavinaya Sampanni Brahmani Govi a cow, hasti, an elephant, uh, sunich, the dog, sapa, chandar, dog eaters. There are different varieties of living entities. But one who is pandit, learned, he sees everyone on the same level. Why? He does not see the outward tabernacle. He sees the soul within everyone. Brahma Darsana, Brahma Bhuta Prasanna Atma, Nasu Chiti Nakang. So that Brahma Darsana is possible when actually one is contact with Brahma, the Supreme. Oh. Therefore the central point is missing. Uh, and everyone is manufacturing his own way of spiritual knowledge. Therefore, uh, the whole world is in a turmoil, confusion. So, in this point, all the sages assemble in Naimisharana for discussing Srimad Bhagavatam. And this took place after the departure of Lord Krishna. Lord Krishna was present on this planet 5,000 years ago. And after his departure, the Bhagavad discussion was going on at Nimasharana. So their question was, a bruhi yoga shari krishne brahmani dharma varvani shankastham udhuno piti dharma kang saranangata. This was the main question in the meeting that bruhi kindly tell us. Yoga shari krishne krishna is mentioned here as Yogeshara. You have heard the, about yoga in your country. This yoga word is very popular. Uh, yoga means uh, mystic power, generally it is understood. Uh, if one actually becomes a yogi, he attains many mystic power. Uh, he, he, he can become smaller than the smallest. Uh, a yogi, actual who has attained perfection, yogi, you can pack up in any small thing. But if there is little hole, he will come out. Uh, a little hole. Uh, we have seen it. Uh, there was one Mr. Chakravarti, he learned this art, and he made money in cooperation with a circus, Bose's circus in Calcutta. I have seen it in our child childhood that this Mr. Chakravarti, first of all, was packed in a bag and the bag was sealed. 
uh, before all audience. And the bag was put in a box. The box was locked up. Not only locked up, it was sealed. Then a curtain, mosquito curtain light, curtain was covered. And on the box there was a tabla, you know tabla, harmonium. So from outside, the, one of the circus men said, uh, Mr. Chakravarti, will you kindly play the tabla? The tabla was going on like, within the cart. Then he said, Mr. Chakravarti, will you kindly the, play the, on the harmonium? The harmonium he played. Then he said, Mr. Chakravarti, will you please come out? So he immediately come out, came out from the cart. And he began to round the uh, box, and the man, circus man, asked everyone, catch him, catch him, catch him. So somebody tried to catch him, but nobody could catch him. He again entered in the curtain, and when the curtain was taken, everyone saw that the tabla was there, the harmony was there, and the box was locked and sealed. And then the seal was opened, the box was opened, then Mr. Chakravarti within the bag, he was taken out, and, and the bag was sealed, it was opened. At that time Mr. Chakravarti was prospering, he was very fatigued, he, he was, remained in such a way, but he came out, that way we have seen. So this is called Anima Siddhi. Lagima Siddhi, there is Lagima Siddhi. He can float in the sky just like cotton swab. That is called Lagima Siddhi. Prapti. Prapti means a yogi can get immediately. Suppose a yogi is sitting here, you can ask him, give me a fresh pomegranate from Kabul. He will immediately. Uh, so there are so many siddhis, perfection, anima, laghima, prapti, siddhi, uh, ishita, bhushita. A yogi can manufacture a planet. He is so powerful. Uh, that's like Vishamitta yogi. He uh, produced man from the tree. So, these are yogic perfection, not simply pressing the nose. That is not. A yoga practice is to gain material power. That's all. There was, uh, say about uh, 100 years ago, uh, there was a yogi in Benaras, Kashi, and he was sitting naked on the road, public road, the government took objection. And so he was taken several times to police custody and he came out. Uh, he became very famous. So there are many yogis. Uh, they can play this magic. But all this yogi power uh, in large quantity, just like uh, a yogi can float himself in the air, but by God's yogic power, millions and trillions heavy planets are floating in the air. Millions and trillions. So, the supreme yogic power is Krishna. Therefore it is said, Brihi Yogeshare Krishna. Yogeshara. Oh, Ishara means controller. There are many yogic power and yogis, but he is the supreme controller of everyone. Therefore, he is mentioned here, Brihi Yogeshare Krishna. The master of the mystic power, Krishna, having gone from this planet. Eh? 
ब्रह्मनि धर्म वर्मनि धर्म वर्मनि means whose open is religious principle uh, dharma means god or krishna dharma the sanskrit word it is translated into english as religion but this is not perfect really a uh, translation dharma is different from religion religion is mentioned in the dictionary as a kind of faith so dharma is not like that faith can be changed you can change your faith today you are hindu tomorrow you can become muslim today you are muslim you can become christian so this kind of faith can be changed so this is not actually dharma dharma means which you cannot change that is called dharma just like water is liquid you cannot change water to become solid you can say argue that what water sometimes become solid ice but that is not its natural condition that is artificial why uh, the temperature going down uh, artificially it becomes uh, solid but at the same time it uh, um, begins to become liquid the ice does not remain solid Yeah. from the solidification uh, after uh, refrigeration it becomes to become liquid because that is its natural state so that as liquidity is natural state of water similarly dharma is our natural state uh, the living entity the living entity being part and parcel of god it has got a natural position natural position just like the finger is the part and parcel of your body it has got a natural position the natural position is that finger as you wish to work the finger works search uh, the different parts of your body limbs they are meant for serving the whole body the finger catches a nice food stuff cake but the finger does not use it the finger takes it to the mouth that means finger serves the body similarly dharma means the living entity being part and parcel of god the living entity must serve god that is dharma that service attitude is there in every living entity but somebody is serving himself somebody is serving his family somebody is serving his society somebody is serving his country in this the service is there if somebody has no nobody to serve he takes a dog a cat and serves it so service is there but this service is called maya illusion actually the service is meant for god but we have forgotten god we are rendering service to so many varieties of mayas presentation therefore when god comes he establishes what is religion ah when krishna came he said he declared his manifesto jada jada hi dharma sagrani bhavati bharat tadatmanam sijam maham whenever there is discrepancies in the matter of discharge of religion jada jada hi dharma sagrani bhavati aur dharma sabbhutanam tadatmanam sijam maham paritranaya sadhunam vinashaya ch duskitam धर्म संस्थापनाथाय संभवामी जुगे जुगे सो कृष्ण केम टू 
established what is real religion. Uh, therefore, uh, the uh, sages assembled in the Naimisharana, they knew it, the mission of Krishna, that He came to establish religion. Now He is not on this planet, so uh, under whose care the religion is now remaining? Dharmakam saranangata. Uh, Sankastham dhunopete dharmakam saranangata. Then where is now religion? Because Krishna, so long Krishna was present, he was discharging real religion. What has that is done? Uh, paritrana sadhunam vinashaya uh, He was, so long Krishna was present on this planet, he was killing so many demons and he was giving protection to the devotees. Uh, but Krishna is absolute, either killing or giving protection, uh, they, they are all the same. Uh, <clears throat> so this is the prasna, this is the question of the great learned scholars and sages and brahmins and the Naimasharana. No? Uh, so this question is answered first by Sutta Goswami, Munayo Sadhu Kristuvam. My dear sages, you have questioned about Krishna. Oh, it is very nice. Manaya sadhu. Sadhu means very nice, perfect. Uh, <coughs> so Manaya sadhu pristo hang bhavad bhi bhai. And loka mangalam. This is for the auspicity of all world. Uh, this kind of prasna, this kind of question, as you have put forward, that after departure of Krishna, uh, under whom uh, actual real religious principles are there. So this question is very nice. Uh, so he clearly says, the next line, Jat Krita Krishna Sang Prasna, because you have put questions about Krishna. Jat Gita Krishna Sang Prasna Jinat Mahasu Prasidati. And if we discuss about Krishna, if we question about Krishna, if we try to understand Krishna, then our life becomes perfect. Simply by trying to understand Krishna, your life will be perfect. What is the perfection of life? The perfection of life means to get out of this material condition and to be situated in our original spiritual life. Originally, we are all spiritual spark. We are sitting here, not only we, human beings, even other living entities, everyone, the trees, the plants, the aquatics, the birds, bees, insects, microbes, everyone, wherever you will find living symptoms, uh, they are all part and parcel of God. Uh, but according to their karma, According to their uh, pious and impious activities, they have been obliged to accept a certain type of body. That is in the hands of nature. Your science will not help. Uh, your science will not help. It will be considered by the material nature. Prakite kriyamanani gunai karmani sarvas. Ahankara vimuratma karta ham miti mannade. You can theorize so many things. You may become a very great scientist, but when death will come, you cannot protect yourself. 
That is not possible. Janma me tu jarabhyadhi dukkha dusha anudarsana. You may be popped up for advancement of your scientific knowledge, but you must be under the control of birth, death, old age, and disease. So, this is prakriti, nature. And nature is controlled by God. Oh, that is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Maya dhaksena prakriti suyate sa characharam he tulani na kauntya jagad vi parivartate. Under my control, the material nature is working. Don't think material nature is working independently. That is not possible. Matter cannot act independently. Uh, you can see how matter is working, but you are seer, you are superior. Scientist sees that this molecule is working like this, this cell is working like that, but the position is that uh, one who is seeing the action, he is superior than the uh, matter acting under certain material laws. Uh, similarly, the living entity is superior. Uh, so of all the living entities, so superior living entity is God. That is stated in the Vedas. Nitya nityanam chitana chitananam uh, Nitya eternal. God is eternal. We are also eternal. God is also full of knowledge. We are also not full of knowledge, but we have got knowledge. Chetana. The matter has not no knowledge. So, he is the supreme eternal. He is the supreme uh, cognizant. Nitya nityanam chetana chetananam. Uh, Eka bhunam vidadati kama. The one is singular number, nitya, chetana. The other are plural number. So we living entities, we are many. Asankhya, there is no limit. How many living entities are there? That you have got experience. Even within your room, from a small hole, Thousands and thousands of ants may come out. Just imagine. Even within a drop of water, there are thousands of microbes. They are all living entities under different conditions of life. So living entities are many, but God is one. Not God many. God cannot be many. Therefore, it is singular number. Nitya nityana chetana chetanana. Then what is the distinction between this singular number and plural number? The distinction is also stated. Eka bhunam vidadati kama. That one single number living entity is supplying all the necessities of this plural number living entity. That is the distinction between God and living entity. Uh, you can see that we human being, civilized man, we have got business, industry to solve our economic problems, but we human being a very small quantity. Out of 8,400,000 species of life, forms of life, only 400,000 species of life are human beings. Out of them, mostly 75% are uncivilized. Maybe 25% civilized. So, except these so-called civilized 25% human beings, other living entities have no problem for eating, sleeping, mating. 
we have created, because we are so-called civilized, we have created the problems for eating, sleeping, mating. Otherwise, there is already arrangement for everyone. By God, eko bhunam vidudhati kama. In Africa, there are thousands, thousands of elephants. At a time, eh, 50 kilos of food stock. But they are eating. God is supplying. Eh. They are also living. They have got sleeping accommodation. They have got mating arrangement. So these are not problems, actually. Oh. It is actually advanced educated man should understand that if God has provided food, eating, sleeping, mating arrangement is made for them, why not for me? Therefore Bhagavad says, tasyaiva hita prajatita kovida na labhati jad bhramatam uparjadha tal labhati dukha vadannata sukham kalina sarvatra gavira rangasa in the human form of life, you should try to understand what is God. That is your special prerogative. If you think that if I become engaged for searching out God, then how my other problems will be solved? The answer is the tallabhati dukha vadannata sukham. Your other problems are already solved. Uh, as there is arrangement for your distress, similarly there is arrangement for your happiness. Nobody wants distress. But why distress comes upon us? It is already arranged. Uh, similarly, if distress is arranged already, then my happiness is also arranged. Tallabhati dukha vadannata sukham. So we should not be disturbed by the so-called distress and happiness. They are coming and going. Krishna has advised in the Bhagavad Gita. Agama paina anitya taang titikha savarat. The so-called distress and happiness. They come and go like seasonal changes. Just like we have got summer season, winter season. The winter also not staying for good. Neither the summer is staying for good. It will change. Chakravat parivattan te sukhani dukhani. There are so many. So we should not bother about this material happiness and distress. That is perfect civilization. We shall depend on the arrangement of God. As lower animals they are depending, the birds rising early in the morning, they chirp, but they are not uh, hampered where to find out food. They know there is somewhere our food. They go and get it. Similarly, our real Problem is that we have forgotten Krishna or God. We must uh, revive our God consciousness again. Uh, that is not very difficult task. And save time. How to reestablish our relationship with God? Uh, therefore, here Sutta Goswami says that Jatkita uh, Krishna Sankrasna. Uh, so, our business should be always to inquire about Krishna or God and try to understand. Because as soon as you understand God, then your this material condition life will be finished. Uh, that is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Jarma karma me dibbam jo janati tatta. You should know. Krishna, God, in truth, not by manufacturing your own ways, concoction. Scientifically, it is a great science. Chad vijjana samannitam. 
ज्ञानम ते सभी ज्ञानम बक्षामी जत अशेषता इन भगवत गीता सभी ज्ञान इट इज साइंस जज ज्ञात्या भूयज अन्न ज्ञातव्य न अवशिष्यते इफ यू ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड गॉड देन यू हैव नथिंग टू अंडरस्टैंड अगेन एनी मोर एवरी ऑल नॉलेज इज देयर बिकॉज़ गॉड इज एवरीथिंग सो यू अंडरस्टैंड एवरीथिंग सो दिस इज अ ग्रेट साइंस therefore the great sages said that uh, jat krita krishna sang prashna he have made enquiries about krishna uh, because they inquired the after departure of krishna uh, the principle of religion is under whom it is existing krishna that is everything will be explained so uh, uh, shudha goshami confirms this that your question about krishna is so nice that it is auspicity for the whole world so we have started this krishna consciousness movement it is not any personal affair it is auspicity for the whole world so you try to enquire about krishna try to understand about krishna and jay atma suprasidati then your atma you will feel full satisfaction shamin krita tosmi barang na jaji you will come to that stage thank you very much